Hi guys, it's Matt from Max on UK here, and in this video we are going to be exploring Cinema 4D's House Builder. Now it comes with the content browser for R18 in the Visualize and Studio packages, and it is a great little tool to be able to set up a inside of a house or a room or something like that. And we're going to be exploring it with the example that you can see here. Okay, so if you go over to the content browser in Cinema 4D and then go to presets and then scroll down to visualize, under the presets for visualize we have tools and helpers and here we have house builder. So if I just double click that we have our house builder and we've got room styles which we will come to again in a bit but we have the house builder sort of app as it were. So if I double click that there we go, we end up with our Cinema 4D simple room. So I'm just going to move back over to the objects tab so you can see what we've got going on here. Now it's a relatively simple and easy to use piece um, by a guy called Nitro Man which is absolutely brilliant and it's already in Cinema 4D but you've got the uh, sort of heads up display for it over here and this is what allows us to change you know, what we can see. So at the moment we've got wall and floor selected, so we could turn all of that off and not see anything. So we've got the floor, and you can see there's this little white area where the wall is, and we can turn that on. You can turn the ceiling on, obviously if you want to be able to see what the whole thing would look like, probably when you're inside, because you're not going to get to see much from the outside. If you do want to, however, then you can do X-ray, okay, and that will allow you to see inside of that room. We've got some other options, so I'm just going to turn off that. So we've got floor moulding, which you can select. Okay, um, and we can add to your room when we make it um, editable. Okay, but we've got some other useful explorations when it comes to these tools here. So you've got the height, so we can increase the height of this. Okay, or you can lower the height of it. So let's give it a nice 2.5 metres tall okay which you can just double click and then enter and that gives us our room now it bases the shape of the room on this polygon here this plane you can change its uh, wall thickness over here as well so if you want it to be uber thick or much smaller okay then you can change it over here so if you just sort of like had a thickness of 10 um, which is fine you, again you can change the floor thicknesses as well um, but what it actually effects is the um, the polygons inside okay so that's what we've got here this plane and if I just go to my top view by pressing F2 okay what it means is that we can see this polygon here and this is how our building is is you know manipulated so if I select my knife tool and I just went straight across okay there you go, we now have our wall. Okay, that's how long it took to just, you know, create ourselves a wall. And then again, using the knife tool, if I did that, there we go. Instantly, you can see that we have our room starting to take shape. Okay, and just going to the, you know, the top view again, we've got access to all of its points, but you could just use the, um, uh, sliders over here select the slide tool and then you can just move that up and down depending on what you want to do or undo select that and you can move that further in and out or just use the move tool and then extend stuff so that you get a much bigger you know office space let's say that's make that minus 500 okay um, so you know we've got a, a couple of different office rooms here which are really useful I think I've got an extra point in there somewhere so I'm just going to go in there and delete that out. I don't need it. So that gets us our really quick office space. Okay, but how do we get in and out of it? Well, we're going to need some um, doorway holes, and that's really easy to do with a spline. So if you just create yourself a rectangular spline, okay, and let's make it relatively door shaped. So I think it's about, say, 80 centimeters across and two meters high. There we go and you move it up, it snaps, okay, or will do in a second, it will snap to the edge. 
So if I drag and drop my rectangle into the hole, door and window null, and then I move it nearer to where the edge is going to be, OK, boom. There we go. It snaps instantly. So if I just move that down and move that across, you can now choose where to put that door. You know, and if you go down too far, you will hit the floor. So you want to make sure it's just above there. But you can move that ever so easily to where you want that door to be. So if you've got a main entrance to the office, maybe it's there, you know, which is quite cool. And then simply create another rectangle, a uh, rectangle, rectangle, and then move that again. You've got a second one. Or if you move it across to that part, you've then got a door to that office, okay, or small meeting room or something like that. So maybe you've got male and female toilets, I don't know. So you've got one one side, and then if I just create another one, you would just pop it in the null and move it to the other. There you go. We've got two doors, okay. It's that simple. And then, you know, maybe if you want to have some windows, so whilst that's on the same sort of plane up there, um, you know, it's up to you. You can make it editable or you can, you know, make it square or something like that. But if you want stuff to be on the same line, you know, use your different views and just marry them up a bit. Okay, it's really, really simple to do just to keep creating these and popping them across to where you need them to be because of the fact that they snap to the nearest thing. You know, it is brilliant. So I'm just going to add some more windows over here, probably to there, and then create another one and add it that side. Let's have a look at that, what that looks like from the side view. There we go. Maybe I'll just marry it up to those lines because it just gives me something to marry it up to, basically. And in no time at all, we have produced our simple office space, OK, our room. It doesn't take any time at all which is absolutely brilliant. Now we can look at texturing. And texturing is another way of doing this. There are a few presets already for us, which is quite cool. So if I create all room style, OK, what it does, it gives me three separate rooms. And the room styles, I've got zero, the main room, one and two. And it creates these tags. And what I can do is I can apply different room styles to each of these different areas. So if I just go to the content browser and then go to room styles, so uh, you need one of them selected to start with. So let's say room zero. Let's go to content browser, room styles, and there you go. You've got, you know, these have already been labeled, you know, bedroom, living room, and bathroom. So let's just double click bedroom and boom, it instantly applies it to it. Um, and then I'm going to select those two. And then I'm going to go to content browser and I'm going to do um, bathroom. Oh, I might need to do it to uh, separately then. So that was room one. Let's go to room two and bathroom as well. So there we go. We have two lovely bathrooms and a and a lounge bedroom sort of thing. Now, if you render, you can see that we've got that applied ever so fast, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay, we've hardly had to do any work to that. Now, you can go in and you can customize those. So you've got the wooden floors here that maybe you can edit or adjust. Or if you've got your own style, you can go up to the content browser and you have a custom style. And if you double click the custom style, it brings you into this separate sort of entity, which we will need to edit and adjust. Um, and then you can sort of quickly play around with these settings. So I'm going to give you know, I want to produce an office space, for example. So I'm going to give myself a ceiling. Under here, I'm going to go to um, surfaces and tiles. And I'm just going to double click that. And I'm going to go for those nice bog standard office ceiling tile sort of look that we're so used to seeing in a variety of different buildings. Um, that's cool for me. I'm going to increase the global scale a bit to that. And then I'm going to rapidly decrease my grout width because I don't want them to be that big. I only want to give the impression that there is a little bit of gap between them. And it really is a very, very little bit of gap. So there we go. That's fine. And then what I can do is I can copy that channel. I'm just going to add that into the bump. 
as well so that we've got that you know working in under here you can see that problem with the issues with the tiles there if you just double click on here you can lower that delta down say about 20% and that will still give us that look so if I just look underneath and click render you know, we've got a sort of look of the ceiling tiles there maybe we can decrease that even further boom there we go it just gives us that sort of feeling of ceiling tiles and then actually under the color you could maybe maybe a bit more gray rather than black so that there we go gives a good impression and now for our walls you know what wonderful wall in an office building wouldn't be great if it wasn't a sort of magnolia color so ooh, that wasn't a bad guess was it so um, say about 50 and 15 there we go and we've got a sort of lovely creamy magnolia color just the way we always love to have in office buildings and then maybe something similar when it comes to the floor same as you would do a ceiling so I'm gonna go for the tiles again uh, okay and this time I'm gonna go into that and I'm going to get rid of the grout width entirely so I don't want any grout or any bevel because floor tiles you know generally don't and then I'm going to do a couple of different shades of blue okay so there's very little difference and then click randomize color and there we go we've got a, a sort of floor tile look there um, increase the width on our specular but dramatically decrease its height I don't want a particularly shiny floor going on here so if I just do a quick render there you go you've got something that looks relatively office base uh, you've got the floor molding as well so you know you could make it very shiny so it looks like it's been nicely glossed just go up to the color make it nice and white and there we have our wonderful little office space there okay which is you know no problem whatsoever then what we'd need to do is we would need to save this object um, into our content browser so what I'm going to do just going to go to my content browser and I'm just going to go new okay and then I'm going to go to preset library and I'm going to call it Matt and then I'm going to just undock that so that it's easy to drag and drop and then your room style drag and drop into here and boom it's been instantly added so I now have my room style completed took no time then if I go to my window and I go over to my building oh sorry that was something I was practicing with earlier there we go building um, room zero if I just get rid of those okay click room and then double click that and it's instantly applied okay so same way as we did before with the preset that I've saved we now have these room styles which you can edit and adjust so let's have a look at you know we've now got floor molding in there as well so that works its way around the edges which is really good and we have the basic area for our office now what I need to do is I need to put some stuff in it so this is really simple to get the outer sort of shapes of it working really quite fast um, you know you could add a light in there if you want to we could add maybe a few lights depending on what we want to do so if I just created a light up there and then what I might do is create a few instances of it so that I can adjust all the lights in one go so I'm going to add an instance to go over the bathroom let's just make sure it's where I want it to be yeah that's cool and then I'm going to create a second instance and I'm going to put that over the other bathroom and then what it means is I can just add shadows to this one and it will add it to all of them so now if I render really fast we've got a really quite simple office space in no, pro no time no problem whatsoever I'm just going to create a floor just to sort of sit around the outside of our building okay and then you know you could add I like adding a physical sky because that gives some nice lighting around the outsides as well and then a quick render and there we go 
we have our very fast office space. Now we've got some good stuff again in the house builder that allows you to see, you know, whether it's solo rooms and stuff, but it's the um, mode depending on what you want to change it to. So you could go to mesh, which would just give you its outsides very simply, which doesn't, you know, isn't for me. Or you could go to blueprint. Okay, and that should give you, I'm just going to get rid of the floor a second and hide the sky. There we go. We've got the blueprint of the floor so you can see how your rooms are going to be laid out. So mesh just gave you that floor plan and room takes you back to the creation of your entire thing. And join me in one of the next videos where we shall either add doors and windows or fill our office space with content.